Consider the long history of humans developing and using tools. Early spears for hunting, pulleys and wheels for moving objects, sundials to tell the time of day, the printing press. Think of these tools as pieces of hardware. Over time, humans learn to use this hardware with greater and greater precision. Think of this know-how as the hardware's instructions for use. Combining hardware with the right instructions could yield remarkable feats. Imagine the build of a grand palace and the many craftspeople, builders, masons, carpenters, and glassmakers who came together, each bringing their own tools and expertise. Fast forward to the 19th century, when Charles Babbage developed the Difference Engine, a single-purpose mechanical computer capable, when carefully configured, of performing addition. Babbage soon made plans for a more complex, multi-purpose machine capable of performing other tasks, like multiplication and division, called the analytical machine. His colleague, a woman named Ada Lovelace, became the world's first ever computer programmer when she wrote an algorithm specifically intended for this new device. Unfortunately, Babbage never finished building the hardware, and the program never ran. To this point, these early computers weren't too different from the other tools humans had developed over our history. A task could be completed using a piece of hardware so long as a human could provide it with the proper instructions. To alter the task, a human would need to entirely redo and reissue the instructions. Then, in the mid-20th century, something game-changing happened. Researcher Thomas Kilburn found a way to store a set of instructions on a computing machine, which meant that a task could be repeated or altered with minimal new effort. His stored instructions worked, and software was born. For the first time, a tool instructed itself, using stored information. Imagine, today, if your cell phone had no preloaded instructions. To send a text message, you would first need to instruct the phone on how to arrange letters, then how to display those letters, then how to read and speak to cellular signals, and on and on. Each text sent would be akin to building a palace. Hundreds of niche experts would be needed to provide just the right set of instructions. Software is a product unlike any other in human history, and the modern software industry is commensurably unique, marked by fast growth, high margins, and a rapid rate of change. We will discuss the types of software in use today, common business models, how software is built, how performance is measured, and important industry trends.